guys, I'm Cassidy, as you might know, and this is my husband, Josh, and we're gonna make green chili soup for y'all tonight. So this can be done in an instant pot or in a crock pot. I'm going to link the recipe below um, so you can have it for later use. Um, so you're gonna need instant pot, uh, chicken broth, we use bone broth for extra protein, Chicken thighs, jar of this mild salsa, can of corn, can of green chilies, um, a whole thing of Philadelphia cream cheese. We need chili powder, cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, some salt, and a scale, and a notepad. So the first step is to weigh your pot. So I'm gonna turn on the scale. It is 797 grams, so I'm gonna write that down. Next, we're gonna put the chicken. And we're using chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast if you want to. Um, it's just, they're probably gonna have better macros with chicken breast. I just like the way thighs taste better. So we're going to zero out our pot, and Josh is gonna to touch the chicken <laughs> and put it all into the bottom of the pot. So now we have all of our chicken thighs. It comes out to 1,254. Next, we're going to add our whole entire thing of bone broth. That's so much bone broth. And you might want to save all of your packages so you can scan them into my Fitness Pal easily. Um, so next, <laughs> next we're gonna put in the whole jar of Herdez salsa verde. <laughs> Sure it's hatch. Uh, diced green chilies. Let's see if Cass can open this can. This can opener <laughs> and I do no. not get along. Oh no. Oh yeah, it's there working. we go. It's working. <laughs> Round of applause. Are you miss no, I'll use that knife. So I'm going to fill this little can up with water so we can get all of the rest of the chilies out. Okay. Alright, next we're going to add our spices. So we're going to need two tablespoons of ground cumin. Which sounds like a lot, but it doesn't come out too strong. We're gonna need one tablespoon of garlic powder. We're gonna switch to teaspoons. One teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of chili powder. So you're just gonna give your bit your pot a big stir, get everything nice and combined. And then you're gonna transfer it to your instant pot. Set it to manual, 
high pressure for 15 minutes. Make sure your vent up here is on the ceiling. And then you're gonna let it sit and cook for 15 minutes. You're gonna do a 10 minute natural pressure release. And then you'll quick release. Um, we'll add our cream cheese and our corn. And then we cook it for two more minutes and it's ready to go. So we'll see you when it's time to add the cream cheese. After it's done because if you don't it can kind of like disintegrate in there Too mushy. Okay, wait. you're gonna have to cut that no, this is Jared, good. This is good. no this is good Now you're going to set it to soup for two minutes, set it onto ceiling, and then in a few minutes, we'll be ready to add the corn and then it'll be done. Okay, so we've already let the pressure out, so it looks super good now. I'm gonna give it a stir. And we're going to add in the can of corn. My lovely assistant. Just pour the whole thing in. Undrain. We're gonna give it a stir and just let it sit in here for like two to five minutes just to let the corn kind of heat through and then you are ready to serve it. So we added in one whole can of corn and let it sit for a couple of minutes so it can um, heat through. Now we're going to weigh out the pot in grams. Don't put it on, don't put it on, don't put it on. Okay, no. And it is 4,371. So I'm gonna write that down. Okay, so then what you're going to do is put that back in there. And you're going to subtract that number by how much the pot weighs. So minus seven. I'm gonna use my calculator because I can't do math. So 3,574, that's what you're gonna change your servings to on my fitness pal. So I'm adding some sour cream and some uh, mozzarella cheese to mine, and I also had some cauliflower rice at the bottom of my bowl, um, and I think it is the perfect condiment for this soup. Condiment? That can't be the right word. Yes, addition, addition, addition. Addition, I think addition is It's correct. condiment. Um, I, I guess it would be, I guess it would be a condiment, but... This one was in the proper right. way, yeah. That's fine. Ah, oh, delicious. <laughs> if you enjoyed this recipe and you're a current Macroholics client, we'd be more than happy to text it to you so you don't have to go through the headache of logging each and every ingredient manually. Just send us a text message from the number we currently have on file for you and we'll get it back to you shortly. From there, you can adjust the serving size however you need to for your unique needs. Thanks for watching guys.